Hi everyone, my name is Yuna Biagioni and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I made this mixed media portrait called Black as Night. I made this portrait because I was featured as a guest artist in a challenge with the theme Black as Night. For more information check out the description box below. I start out by applying a layer of gesso to the page. This seals the paper and as I will be using acrylic paint later on, the gesso will avoid that the paint sinks right into the paper. When the gesso is completely dry, I start sketching out the head with a light brown pastel pencil. I like to use pastel or charcoal pencils in this stage, as these lines can easily be wiped away with my hands or a cloth. As I said in the intro, this art journal portrait was made for a challenge with the theme Black as Night. So my idea for this page is to paint a face which is half in the light and half in the darkness. The part in the darkness will not be visible. However, I'm still sketching out the whole face as this will help me to find a balanced placement of the head on the page and also to get a feel for where I want to draw the features. When the rough sketch is done, I start blocking in the shadow parts with blue acrylic paint. At this point I'm working quite quickly. I didn't speed up the video, so this is real time. I'm keeping it very loose, using a large brush and working in broad strokes. I don't paint in any details yet. I just want to lay down this first layer of paint. going in with a light blue color to paint the lighter parts of the face. This is a medium dark shade for the lighter shadows. Finally, a pale blue color for the highlights. When the first layer of colors is blocked in, I make sure to dry the paint completely before continuing with the next layer. Now I take a dark blue pastel pencil to start drawing in the facial features. I'm drawing very lightly without applying too much pressure. I'm drawing rather intuitively here, just letting my pencil dance over the paper and slowly let the features arise. And then I go back in with the acrylic paint again still working very broadly with my large filbert brush.
I start working with my smaller brush to get a little more detail. After each layer of paint, I make sure to dry it completely before going in with my pencil again. I'm now focusing mainly on the left side of the face, since this will be the visible part. At this point I begin darkening the right side of the page and also the shadows at the other side of the face. I'm using a mixture of blue paint with raw umber to darken the shadows. I've decided not to use any black paint, because I think that it would flatten this dark side, rather than deepening it. And also because it was a little pun to the theme black as night. When this dark layer is dry, I continue adding in the highlights and shades of the face. I keep alternating layers of paint and pencil, until I'm happy with the way it looks so far. Now I come in with my soft pastel crayons, to add some extra color and to soften the face a bit. The chin seems to be a bit too long, so I just add some shadow to shorten it. This is an oil paint stick in a pinkish color. I love to work with oil paint sticks, because they are so creamy and you can easily smooth them out. But if you don't have them, you can just keep working with your acrylic paint as well. Here I'm using a Stabilo All Pencil. These are great to work with, because they can draw on almost any medium, including oil paint sticks. At this point the face is starting to look a little spooky I think, somewhat ghost-like, 
which is not my intention for this portrait. It seems like the face is just floating in the darkness, so I decide to add a neck to make it more human. Keep adding layers and layers of soft pastel and oil paint stick and then bring back the details again with my pencils. until she's there, half in the light and half in the dark of the night. She might be withdrawing into the darkness, or rather stepping out into the light. Or maybe she's just there, right at the crossing point. <laughs> 